we have this trend line and that we drew earlier. Now before we actually get into how to enter in a buy and sell order, uh, I want to touch upon how to send an alert because we had a question earlier about that and that's actually really important to help you um, monitor the stocks that you're watching and the prices that they're, they're hitting um, without actually sitting in front of your computer all day. So the first thing we want to do is go to the top right corner and click setup application settings you know your app settings we will look at notification we want to get a notification when alert is triggered right so to set that up um, we do need to uh, set up your email confirmation this will be the main email you would want to get the notification to from me it would be jeffrey at stocksessions.com Okay, when you have your email set up, uh, you'll notice that uh, the send email alert setting uh, goes from gray to white, which means you can select this option. Also on the right, you'll notice uh, some options of what kind of information you would uh, be able to get in this uh, email alert. Okay, uh, the main thing we want is under price, we want the market price with the price of the the stock or the index is trading at. We'll worry about the other ones in uh, future courses. To actually set an alert, uh, you can go to Market Watch. Under the Market Watch tab, you'll see Alerts. Okay, right here, Alerts. You type in the symbol that you would want to get alert for. Uh, for us, we can go keep going with our uh, example of using the S&P 500 index or the SBY symbol. And you can just right click anywhere on any of these prices to get a pop up box and create an alert. So let's say we want to know when the price crosses uh, below a certain price um, because that's um, below that certain price is where we want to buy. We would select notify when the bid is at or below let's say 185 okay and how to notify create with email you can also get a sound on the computer if you're at your computer and we create the alert so you see in your alert book there's a couple of that I've canceled but this very last one where we want to see when it's at or below 185 the status is active now the cool thing is if we switch over to the charts you'll see alert tab right here on your on your chart so you can actually just move it along with your trend line to modify it to uh, let's say you didn't have exactly where uh, the trend line is or um, the stock has moved, now the trend line has moved, you could uh, easily drag it and change it. So um, as Corey mentioned with the trend lines, you know, if we want to buy on the pullback, this uh, this 190 area is probably where you want to um, start looking to buy. So you'll set an alert around here, One, you know, I dragged it to about 189, you can move it uh, to, to closer to 190 or a little bit above as this trend line will be sloping upward so in the future it'll be you know closer to 191 192 you can also easily cancel the alert just by clicking the, the next. 